from the churches. Mm. Let me finish that one. Yes. The rules will be there. The pastors will get certificate to operate. Yeah, yeah. And then we will be monitored. You understand? You are not supposed to sell anything in the church. Once you sell, start selling, the certificate will change and it will be enterprise. You pay tax. Mm, I like that. You understand? Mm. Once you see, because when you when you make uh, let's say anointing oil, you are not supposed to sell in the church. Take it to the market. Mm. That's the marketplace. Then pay tax. Mm. But once you are selling in the church, your certificate will be changed. It will be enterprise. Maybe a Kwanaba church enterprise. Then you start paying tax. Case close. I like that one. You understand? That so one. so anybody selling in the church mm. will pay tax. I can, I can, I, I want to agree with you on that one because now most of pastors, they will, they, they will mention that God given me this in a dream that I have to mix this and this and that to, to heal, right? And then now if you were given that advice for free. Because it says in the Bible, it was given to you for free and you must give it for free. It's that's in the what Bible. I agree, yeah. Okay, so if you don't want to give for free, no problem. Sell it, pay tax, case closed. You understand? If God reveals something to you that you can leave these leaves to heal the sick, mm. you are not a pastor again. You are a traditionalist. Because now you are taking leaves. Eh? You go to the bushes, you take leaves, mm. and then you start making uh, urine. Medica, urine. medication from urine. it. So now you are not a pastor. You are a herbalist. <laughs> so you start paying tax as a herbalist. Yeah. You understand? Yes. So forget about being pastor. Now your certificate, you change it. You are a herbalist. So mm. you are going to have a doctor. You pay tax. But now, okay, in my in my country, I've 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 came across uh, videos where someone says, "I am a prophet and a sangoma. I do them both." So if I would be a pastor at church, who knows, a uh, who knows herbs? What are, are you gonna allow such things so, if you were a Christian? So a so once it's religion, okay. Mm -hmm. You are a sanguma and also a pastor. Mm. You you are going to back it with a Bible verse. If you were able to give me a Bible verse that happened in the Bible, that there was a pastor or a reverend or a prophet, also a sanguma in the Bible, then it's, you are free to do your thing. If there is none, choose one. Take your certificate. I wouldn't vote for you as a president. Why? Because you choose one. And then you take your certificate. Hmm. Let people know I am a sanguma. Case close. I am a Christian. Case close. When you start mixing, then... But you, now they are both part of healing. They, they heal, right? Whether I'm a prophet or I'm a sanguma. So why can't you allow both to work in one There's person? no problem being a sanguma. A sanguma, uh, in our language, they yeah. call it um, a bosomfo mm. or a traditionalist. Mm. You understand? Or mm. konfo. Comfort. Okay, mm. so there's no problem being a comfort. Yeah. Be a comfort, take your certificate and do your sangoma thing. You understand? Okay. Mm. And then, but if I have both callings, as they say from others. Who? From who? Most of them, like I am a pastor and I, I, I am. They need to back it with a Bible verse. Okay. Let me tell you You're this. not saying it doesn't exist, but you want someone who's going to come with it. It's not existing anywhere in the Bible. That there was a prophet also as Anguma in the Bible. No. Okay. So what I'm saying is the person who is saying is a pastor and also a Sanguma. Mm. Let me tell you straight, that person is a Sanguma hundred percent. He has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Mm. But because people are shy to go to Sangumas, mm. then I will put on suit. Okay. And then use the Sanguma. Okay, so you'll come at church after coming to church. I'll give you an you are not going to church. After hours. You are not going to church. You are going to a Sangoma, but now it's been modernized. Okay, as a church. Oh, you understand? Okay. So, automatically, any pastor who says he's a Sangoma and also a pastor mm. and has a church mm. is a Sangoma, but people are shy, they feel shy, they feel ashamed going to the Sangoma. Mm. So, now he wants to come back to the public. Mm. To get them, let me be Christian. Okay. And they use my Sanguma. Mm. He's a Sanguma. You understand? So they should choose one. Okay. Any pastor, even in Ghana, 
You understand? Any pastor who knows how to heal, take uh, herbs, take leaves to do deliverance, blah, blah, blah. They are all ritualists. When I say ritualists, people will be thinking differently. Mm -hmm. They are traditionalists. Mm -hmm. You understand? They are sangumes. They are akon, akonfo. We call it akonfo. Any pastor in Ghana who uses leaves, herbs to heal mm. is akonfo. Is a sanguma. Is a traditionalist. But he cannot go into that full-time job. Mm -hmm. People will not come. So let me brand it and make it a church. So when you come with your troubles, I'll fix it with this herbal thing. It will be fixed. But now, you know, speaking of that, let me give you glimpses of what I know in my, let me say rather in my tribe. We have Isangoma and then we have Ikwele. So those people are, it's two different people. Isangoma, it's someone who goes and initiate, who has been taught how to use uh, these things. The, 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 it's someone, they say they have a calling. So they, they, are, they will be told by the ancestors how, how, what to mix to heal, the, to heal people, right? So those ones are called Isangoma because they, they, it's something that has to do with spirituality, I believe so. And then Ikwele, it's someone, I could, I, I could call it, I don't want to say a witch, <laughs> but Ikwele, it's someone who knows herbs without hearing voices and say, they have to throw bones and say, yeah, you see your uncle said you should do this. They don't do that. So you go to them, you tell them what you want. Literally, you tell them if you want to kill, you want to heal, you want to do what. So those ones are called ikwele, but they both use the same umuti. Mm -hmm. So we have something like that. So as you were, you were mentioning uh, the, the pastors and all, like, let me share that, what I know. Okay. Yeah. So, so these people calling themselves pastors these days, mm -hmm. they are all sangomes. Okay. Okay. They are all Sangomes. Jesus is not talking to any of them. Okay? okay. They are Sangomes. They are being controlled by their family uh, family goals. Mm -hmm. They are being controlled by the family goals. I mean, goals that is in their family. Mm -hmm. That's what they are using. Mm -hmm. They are all... That's why they say you have to take with us but to touch his kwama. Your great-grandmother was a Sangoma. Yeah, she yeah, left yeah. her bones. So now you have all, to take... For me. From... Not from you. Yeah. From me. Mm -hmm. So you can attack me. Okay. okay? Mm. All of them. They are being controlled by their family goals. Mm. Jesus is not talking to any of them. Okay. Okay. So they are they are shy. You know, they don't feel comfortable operating in that realm mm. as a Sanguma. Mm. So they do the cover up to be pastors. All of them. Hmm. Okay. I know the comment section people will be insulting. Why are you saying all of that? I don't care. You can't do me anything. I'm telling the truth. It's your truth. That, that's my truth. Mm. So all of them, that's what they do. So you, the church member, yeah. must know that truth. this person Why? is a sanguma. Okay. Or this person is worshipping this. Mm -hmm. You must know. Let me finish with the noise. Yes. Because I didn't finish with the noise. I'm sorry. For the Christians, I'm done with them. Mm. I mean, I show how to yes, fix it. Now to the clubs. They need sound proofs. You understand? Mm. Certificate to operate. They will pay tax. You understand? By 8 o'clock, you understand? People are sleeping. You feel to enjoy. You are going to pay times two. You understand? You will pay huh? times two. But especially especially time. on Shabbat. On Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You pay times two. So if you are selling malt outside or you're selling Guinness outside, 10 Ghana, when you go to the club, they will give it to you 30 Ghana because they, will, they are paying tax times two. So clubs will be more expensive. More expensive. Hmm. So you'd rather drink at home. Yeah, that, because in, in Israel, when the Shabbat and you open shops, the tax, let's say the tax is 10%, you are paying 15 or 20%. Okay. That's how they make money. Mm. And the Jews are not doing, uh, the, the rabbis are not opening shop. Well, for them, they will stay home. They understand. It's mm. for the foreigners. Mm. So we give them money always. 
Mm, so and you work, all these you're literally clubs. working for them, isn't it? Your profit yeah. is too little when it's like that. So all these clubs in Ghana, mm. especially my country, Ghana, are being owned by Lebanese, Chinese, you know, big, mm-hmm. big. They will pay tax times two. You understand? So what, if you feel like buying Guinness, mm. 30 Ghana, it's your mm. problem. Go and buy it. But they are paying tax, uh, tax mm. times two. Wow. Okay. I didn't know that. For me, I'm learning here. Yes, as a president, I'm speaking as a president. Yes, 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 president.